Hello and welcome to my math students. I'm going to be practicing how to rotate a shape about a point other than the origin at negative two, negative one here. I've labeled my shape A, B, C, D, and I'm going to be rotating it 90, 180, and 270 about point negative two, negative one. First, I'm gonna start with going clockwise about this point. So first I wanna notice, I'm gonna call this O. The distance from point O to A is two units. If I were to notice these two units right here, those two units, I can rotate that 90 degrees and it will be two units that way. So right here I have two units being rotated 90 degrees up two units here. This will be my new A prime. Next, let's take a look at B from O to B, I have this line with a slope of one half and it is four units left and two units down. And I could sort of draw this triangle, this line to describe from O to B. I wanna rotate that 90 degrees as well. So if this is four and two, I wanna rotate this four up here. So four. And the two is gonna go this way because it was previously down, now it's turning left. That same line is going to look like that. Here's my new point B prime. Next, let's take a look at C down here. So C from the origin, this new origin I have is O. Distance from C to O is one, two, three, four, and one. And I could draw this line with a slope of four to it. And if I were to go 90 degrees, it's gonna be pretty close to this line, but not quite, it's going to be this. So I can see the 90 degrees right there. Down four over one. If I rotate that description, four and one, I'm gonna end up right here. This will be my new point C prime. Next and last is going to be point D over here. So there's a couple ways I could look at it. I'm gonna try over here, so if I a one to right, three down. I wanna take this right here and rotate that 90 degrees. I'm gonna get rid of some of this, that's why I use pencil. So if I take this one and three and I rotate that, this new one will be here and this three will be going here. It'll be right on the edge. So my new D prime is going to be right here. Here's my new shape. So now that I can see that these two are gonna connect, I can look for that in the future. I'm gonna show you now how to do it sort of a different way. So from here, I wanna go another 90 degrees over here. So I'm gonna try the other method of rotating my paper. So again, two units here, two units here. I know it's going to be somewhere over here. So if I rotate my page like this, that will help me. So if I take my paper, I know this is two units up. If I rotate my paper here, two units up. A, we'll call it double prime. If I start at O and I want to get create my new B, two units left and up four, rotate. Two units left and up four, be right here. So it'll be B double prime. From O to C, one up, five to the left, rotate. One up, one, two, three, four, five to the left. C double prime. And last of the shape from O to D prime is one down, one, two, three. Let's rotate. One down, one, two, three to the left. Oh, I messed up something. What did I do? So A is still two away, good. That works just like that one. I think this one's messed up. I think it's my C over here. Zero to C. Zero to C, one, two, three, four, up one. I did five, mistake. So I'm gonna start here again, zero to A. I know it's gonna end up over here. I can start to see. Some way some people do this is when they know they're going to be drawing all four, they'll go by points. So if I know that's two way, 
two, 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 a triple prime. From here to B is, well, here to this B is one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two. Next, if I wanted to do C, I can also just go this way, I can go counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, one. So if I take that right there and I use this popsicle stick to sort of describe the rotation there. It should be one, two, three, four, one. And lastly, D. One other thing some people do is once they have one or two points, they'll try constructing the rest of their shape. A to D is one by one, so What's actually missing is my D over here. One should be right over here. So I can see that it's gonna be along this line, because it's along this line over here. D triple prime should be one, two, three here. And then one and two from D is one and two. From D is one and two. So that's fine. B over here, two, three. Let's check. From C to three, from C to three, looks good. I think that looks like it's been rotated three times. It's a little messy with the pencil, but rewind it if you have to. Let me know in the comments what other questions you have. I hope that helped. I have no idea if it helped. Let me know in the comments if it was useful. Let me know what other things you'd like me to do, specifically for my geometry students. If you're good about using the origin, now you're adding this repertoire without using patty paper. Thank you for watching. Stay weird.